Now, I'm delighted to say that Today FM has decided to support Down Syndrome Ireland's fifth annual Purple Run on Sunday the 22nd of March at the Phoenix Park in Dublin at 11 o'clock. It's something that I've gone to for the last three years. I've gone along with my family, bring the dog along as well. And you can walk or you can run because we want the general public, as the saying is, to run with us, not for us, alongside people with Down Syndrome and their families. And one of the reasons that we're delighted to help uh, Down Syndrome Ireland is because of the work that it does with adult people with Down Syndrome. For example, people who want to work and who can have or are a substantial source of untapped commitment and talent. Because in Ireland, less than 5% of adults with Down Syndrome secure meaningful employment, but Down Syndrome Ireland is helping these people to secure work. Aoife Gaffney, you're Head of Employment at Down Syndrome Ireland. Tell us how you do this. Thanks very much, Matt, for having us. So I suppose, Matt, our Ability Programme really is a programme that provides adults with Down syndrome access to meaningful employment across the country. So it's a two-pronged approach, really. Um, firstly, we have a bespoke adult education and training programme that we provide to, to our branches locally across the country, but also we develop direct links and partnerships with employers um, nationwide as well. OK, what sort of links with the employers? Um, I suppose different employers across the country would approach us, Matt, looking to offer a job to an adult with Down syndrome, but they just don't know how. So we do things like offering training, offering support along the way. Um, we would work with them in terms of creating task lists, looking at meaningful jobs in the workforce and just providing any support that they feel um, is needed really along the way. Because I was with you before Christmas was a special fundraising event at House in Leeson Street yeah. and it was a fantastic crowd there and I met a number of people there who were delighted with the opportunities that they had been provided to get meaningful work. Yes, yeah, we have over 60 adults now nationwide in employment since our programme began in, in 2018. So yes, I mean, we, we have people working in different, I suppose, different industries, including retail, office, leisure, hospitality, hairdressing and manufacturing. So there's lots of employers out there that are really interested in working with us. Well, I'm delighted that we have Amy Purcell and Finton Bray with us here on the programme. Thank you very much, both of you, Thank for you. coming in. Thank you, Matt. Now, Amy, can I start with you first, yes. please? Tell us a little bit about where you work, please. I'm working in Newbridge called Palo Hairdressing. Very good. How long have you been working there since? I've been there, I don't know I don't know how long it was, but I've been there for nearly a long time and I really, really like it. Very good. And what sort of work do you do there? I kind of um, do hairs. I wash hairs. Sometimes I mix colours and sometimes I fold towels and I do a bit of stock taking. That's very good. And do you go in, how many days a week do you go in? I do one day and it's a Saturday morning. Very good. So that must be very enjoyable to do. Is it something that you look forward to? Yes, it is. I really like it a lot. That's very good. And Finton, tell me a little bit about where you work, please. Yeah. So I work in a Wendy Fennel called Connerbrunny House. And it's outside Kelts and Old Castle era. And what do you do there? Well, I do the meat and grease. I serve tea and coffee. And I do the waters at the middle time. Very good. And when did you start there? About the last year. So I'm here since a year and a half. This year's going to be two years. So no pressure on me. So I just work as hard as I can. I work as my ability. And how many days a week do you go in there? Depends where I stay wedding on. Basically, most weddings are on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Sometimes at Christmas, um, Monday or Tuesday, because it's a busy time of the year of weddings. Uh, it kind of really, it's just a incredible experience to at Christmas, because we have hot chocolate and marshmallows at Christmas. So it's good way to uh, work at Christmas time. So how much fun do you get out of doing the job? A lot of fun, lot. It's been incredible. People have been so 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 we we're proud of, and of course, it's so. Respect for people with Down syndrome, so it's good to we I walk in different places, and they treat me as just respect for person, even though it's born with Down syndrome. It's just a quite experience. So, Amy, how much do you enjoy going to work? I like going into work because I like getting just going in and just do what do what you have to do and just. And how do it. how friendly are the people that you work with, and how friendly are the customers? They're really friendly in there because they're really good to me and I put the effort into the work and the clients are very good because they're always asking me to wash their hairs. Sometimes I do that as well. 
Which is nice. Which is really nice because I get to, get to talk to them and I know half their clients already. Yeah, you get to know the same people coming in on a regular basis, does it? Yes, it does. Get to know all their names and yeah, get they to get to know you. Yeah. But is that the same for you? I suppose Fergal is, or Fintan is different, isn't it, Fintan, given that you'd have a different people getting married on different days? Well, yes, right. It, it's not about just getting married. It's about being part of something new and different. So we give a magical experience and a magical people because it's about their day, their special day. So for me, I think it's just like it's not just my magic place. It's just changed the lot completely because kind of really is a place for people who wants to get, get married. So it's just been amazing. For Finton, you're a very busy man with lots of other things, aren't you? Because yes. I see you're on the National Advisory Council for Down Syndrome Ireland and you're a member of the International Down Syndrome Swimming Team. Yes, I am, yeah. Okay, do you go and compete for Ireland in that? So, yeah, so, yes, I'm on the National Irish Team. So I went to Europeans and to the World Championships. This year, I'm to a current train for Turkey 2020. So there's lots of pressure going on, so... It's higher standard, so I have a few European medals. So it's not about medals, it's not about representing your country. It's all about being part of a team and keep on going. Because I just love people down center over the world. So I was there to represent my country and my county proud. Plus, you're here, Matt. You're representing your country as well and your county as well. So everyone in the world is representing Ireland, so that's why I'm thankful. And Amy, I believe you're a swimmer as well, are you? Yes, I am. I've been doing this since I was three, and I won my first gold when I was nine, and been in my DNA since I was a kid, so... And you're also, I believe, yeah. you're a leader in the Brownies in your local youth club. Yes, I am. I've been volunteering for 15 years, and I really, really enjoy it. What do you do there? I do a bit of um, shredding, and sometimes I do other things with them. I disappear with the children as well. Okay, so you, you both keep very, very busy, don't you? Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay, Aoife, how many others do you think is the potential for, for people with Down syndrome when they become adults? Because I know there's a lot of facilities in place, isn't there, for children and for teenagers. But one of the big issues is what happens when people with Down syndrome become adults? Yeah, absolutely, Matt. So I suppose when, when people with Down syndrome turn 18, um, they're nearly seen as care. You know, they're not under under education anymore. They're under care and the health service and that. So really, we want to give them opportunities. We've got, we think, over 1,200 adults with Down syndrome in the country. And I mean, our numbers are good, but we're still not hitting everybody. And I think that we can do that over time. So really, we're just asking for employers to open up some opportunities within their workplace. You see how capable Fintan and Amy are here today and the guys you met before Christmas in house. Um, and we just want to provide those opportunities and break down barriers with our programme. Okay, well, that's great. And you know what we'll do in a minute, if you don't mind, please, Amy and Fintan, we'll go and get a photograph taken with our big Today FM sign and we'll put it up on the website because we do want to promote that we're getting involved with the fifth annual Purple Run, which is in the Phoenix Park in Dublin on Sunday the 22nd of March. It's on at 11 o'clock. I know from having been there over the last three years that people come from all over the country to take part in it. And people with Down syndrome, people who are family and friends, Bring the dog. Lots of people walk. Lots of people run. Some people run fast. Some people not so fast. Do you run when you do it or do you walk the course? No, I walk it. You walk it. I run. You run. Yeah, I run. walk. All right. Well, listen, I look forward to meeting you there on the day as well. And we hope that m many Today FM listeners will get involved as well in coming along to support on the day. And in addition, we have a special competition promotion that I'm going to tell you about in just a few moments. But for now, thank you very much, Amy Purcell, Fintan Bray and Aoife Gaffney, Head of Employment at Down Syndrome Ireland, for joining us here on The Last Word at Today FM. Thank you, Matt. You can, of course, yes. Yes. a big shout out to everyone in Cuddle Bruni, staff, and Mary O'Neill, and of course, Eva Gaffney, for letting us talk today. And thanks for Down Syndrome. I think that is a good opportunity for us as to what we can do. So I just want to say thank you to all of my friends and neighbours, and of course, especially my girlfriend. So I kind of want to say thank you for all the people, young people. Thank you very much. We'll be back with the 6 of 6 after this. The